Greetings. This is your big brother, Elder Blacklight. I was inspired to do this midnight special because I don't think that uh, I'm getting across to my subscribers. I picked up a couple of more. I don't know why people subscribe, you know, but I'm not like the other content brothers and sisters. I'm not trying to make no money off of this. See, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I heard him say that a Muslim wants for his brother what he wants. He wants for himself what he wants for his, he wants for his brother what he wants for himself. You know. He also went on to say if uh, you got a bowl of soup and your brother don't have a bowl of soup or bean soup. You want him to have a, a bowl of bean soup too. You know. So we got all these Muslim brothers, Orthodox, you know, trying to figure out who the real Muslim is. We got all these brothers saying they follow down to be Elijah Muhammad. We got a whole lot of brothers saying that Master Farah Muhammad, the founder of the Nation of Islam here in Detroit, Is who they follow and represent. Everybody tell you what the problem is, but Down to be Elijah Muhammad was a living example on how to solve it. No matter what Minister Farrakhan did, it was all did with the permission of Allah. I look at it like this to expose. The weak believers separate them from the strong believers or the hypocrites from the real ones. But he hasn't, he's not through separating us because everything comes in degrees. Now I remember my mama telling me that, uh, you know, she sold her own clothes. Made her own clothes. My, my father, he went to tailoring school. My mother, she was naturally gifted. She was a, a supreme cook. You know, she was in the and, you know, she, she didn't used to leave the house until she wanted to work. My dad didn't want her to work, but she wanted more money. Because she liked a lot of material things, and she wanted to be in a, in, a, in, a, in a different, another class. So she left the Muslims when I was about seven years old. But I remember a time when we was in a, a temple meeting. I don't know how old I was. I was about maybe. Six. I mean, not. I might not even been that old. But anyway, it was hot. It was. It was in the summertime, and it was so hot that I, I started going to sleep. But I remember that blackboard, with the brother hanging. The uh, star and the crescent on one side, and the flag, the American flag on the other side, and I was. That lecture right there is the only one I remember. It got to me. So I went to sleep though because, you know, them brothers be long-winded. And I remember brother coming over and telling my mother, sister, go and put some water on that little brother's face. Wake him up. And I remember her taking me to the water fountain, putting water on my face, and I stayed woke. But then when she took me out at the age of seven, I was seven years old, she went back to drinking, smoking, Christian life. 
but I never was, I never could adjust to that. I had problems in school, you know. Matter of fact, I got kicked out of school because I couldn't deal with it. So I remember when my uncles and them they used to make their own clothes. They wasn't buying a whole lot of foolish stuff. So this is what I'm suggesting. This is what you can do if you want to survive this. Make your own clothes. Learn how to can food. Learn how to do some farming in the backyard, wherever you, whatever you got if you're in a apartment building. Grow some, some plants in a pot, whatever. Learn how to cook healthy food. Uh, see, when they dumped that, when they uh, dumped that toxic waste in Michigan, you know, the other day, that's they trying to sabotage the water, sabotage the atmosphere. They already got uh. A pandemic that's increasing, evolving, economic warfare going against us, police killing us like crazy, plus we killing us ourselves. Now at what point are we going to defend ourselves? At what point are we going to unite? I mean, y'all leaders, see this way, this Donald Elijah Muhammad said that. He's not making followers, he's making leaders. You know, and I'm trying to, you know, the way I get my videos, I try to make you think, and I want you to go and wake up your people, all my subscribers. At some point, we got to unite. At some point, the Moors, the Garveyites, the Panthers, uh, Y'all got, if y'all leaders ain't taking y'all into that direction, because if we was to pull our resources together, we have a, a the income of a, 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 a probably a third or first world nation. Much money as black people spend. Spend your money wisely. Stop going to bars. Stop uh, gambling. Stop, you know, buying lotto tickets. Try to unite and pull your resources together. If you unite, we'll win the war overnight. Because there's no guarantee that you won't get annihilated. Like Noah, God would pick when the saints come marching in, and I know you want to hope to be in that number, he will pick who he wants to survive this. I'm black light. But before I go, you know, keep watching me, you know, pass this video along to your brothers and sisters. Unite at your house, those who will listen, those who won't, forget about it. But we got to spread the message, you know. Tune in uh, later, later on. May the blessings of Allah be upon you. And may you walk the straight and righteous path. Assalamu alaikum.